Hi, good day guys. Today my camera might be on a real funny angle because I've got my paint table covered with this large canvas that I did, which I'll give you a, a show. Ooh. So it's, it's absolutely, yeah, it's covering my table. I have nowhere to put it and it's not dry. Um, and it's the second day, coming on the third day. Areas are dry all around the edges. So the camera may be on a weird angle for you guys. Uh, I'm just gonna do a little um, dip uh, with, I'm gonna do it with the, not sure if now this is the right way up for you guys with the uh, Montmartre poster paints so I think in the US you call them uh, tempura paints so they have I've, I've used them with I've mixed these batch up the Montmartre paints and I pre-mixed I just did the 70% um, clear craft glue and water and then just added it to the paints but with the craft glue, they, they're definitely a little bit thicker than the um, uh, acrylic, but adding the glue to it is, is basically making it into a craft glue. So I've got some colors made up. I'm going to do a canvas to canvas dip, um, trying to maybe create a flower. I don't know, I'll see how it comes comes out I've got some white pre-mixed in one of my old um, PVA craft glue um, craft glue what you call it oh, bottles so I'm reusing the bottles because they've got a nice squeezy end so I'm gonna reuse them to to do that with so okay I'm just gonna get started hopefully it's a quick little video for you using a cheaper option for people that are beginners with the, the clear craft glue and the Montmartre. Underneath the video will be a, a description of what I've used and how I've mixed my paint. And I've mixed it in the same, exactly the same way that I would do my acrylic paints, but I've just used the uh, poster paints. The suppliers for the Montmartre products that I'm using today is in the description box below this video. Um, so basically everything I'm using you can get from there and I'm going to start off with white so I'm just doing I'm not going to cover the whole canvas okay there's a helicopter coming in <laughs> whereas I usually when I do dips I do the whole canvas I just want to see how I go from canvas to canvas dip when I'm using these little bottles if it works the same as when I do um, you know uh, my chevron patterns so it is just it is another little experiment that I'm doing let's see if it all works out so I'll just see if it actually works almost doing a drawing on it <laughs> pretty bad one but I'm just it's another experiment so these little bottles I got from Lolly Vifi what are I can't say it I, I just can't I just like love life so these little bottles are for the uh, silicone that I get the that I was sent some silicone uh, sheets to pour on well not to pour on to have underneath my pores okay this probably needs opening up a little bit more squeegeeing 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 So I haven't done anything like this with the these paints before. So yeah, it's just a, it is definitely an experiment for me today. Just giving it a go, as you do with things, seeing how they work. Got pouring rain here today, um, and because we've had such hot weather, it's um, really got quite sticky. Sticky. Okay, oh, yeah, just made this paint up and then uh, poured them, use a little, um, what do you 
call it I oh, can't think of the name when you I can't think it's gone a little funnel to pour the paints in but these definitely this tempura paints or the um, paints from the post paints have become a lot sort of thicker so you do have to be careful when you're mixing them that they don't go like glue completely so you sort of definitely just mix them slowly and add your um, pouring medium which I, as I said I use the glue and water mix just slowly and if you do need to add some more water then just go for it okay be good if you open the spout I have no either this probably be one big muddy mess but just got to give it a little go just try it go with the flow looks a bit messy doesn't it but well, I like red I like I like how red brings the open the spout and let it out Okay. Oh, oh, oh. I probably put way too many colours there, but you know, just see. I'll uh, learn by my mistakes, and hopefully you'll learn by my mistakes. <laughs> Don't do what she did. Ooh. Okay. Well, it looks a bright mess but anyway probably got more than enough paint on there just want to add a little dark color in there uh, oh, this one was actually this is the only one that I've used uh, the um, what you call it acrylic paint just because I had I wanted a dark one I had this left so, but that's, yeah, see, it's so much more runnier. Oof. I'm just going to give it a go. See how we go. Wish me luck. I think it's going to turn into a bit of a, a mess, but, you know, I'll try. I'm just going to press it out with my hand. I just wanted to have a play out here today. Um not being able to do a big painting because I've got this big one sitting there drying. Uh, let's grab the cloth. Would be a good idea. Maybe very, very messy. Very, very messy. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn it over, transfer the weight onto the other side so the paint from one side will go to the other. I think it probably would have worked out better if I did my chevrons. Chevron patterns that I've been doing for these dips, they, they never disappoint me, they always come out lovely, providing you put nice colours on there. Okay. Let's hope that this is not a mess, a mess, mess. Holy dooly, it's a mess. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's messy. I don't like it. I do not like it. It was a waste of time doing that pattern that I did for sure. Maybe I can rescue it. Where can I rescue? Give it a go, give it a go Joe. I'm gonna put some bit of yellow, I haven't got any yellow in there so I'm gonna just put some yellow in. I'm gonna bring my balloon because that's messy. So don't do what Jill did. 
The chevron patterns come out great in a um, dips, but I don't like this. But it was maybe more the colour than the actual um, sh shapes. But, yeah, I'll just put my cloth, so I'm going to bring the balloon and give it a dipo. Oh no. Holy dooly, Jackaroonie. Oh my goodness, that's bad. <laughs> okay. Holy dooly. No. No like. That's not a good one. Okay, back to the drawing board. That was not good. That's not good. Let me think what I can do. Mm, mm, mm. Maybe turn it. Let's see what a swipe goes like on um What do you reckon a swipe on a I'll just do one at a time. I'll move this one over so a swipe. So if it turns out really disastrous, I think I'm still gonna show you because I need to show you that artists that have been at this a long time still have terrible mistakes <laughs> make terrible mistakes should I say put some gold I think I really wrecked it with that brown I mean you know really made a, a mess of it but I just wanted to give it a go. I was interested to see what the tempura paints would make out of the um, doing that kind of dip. So I'll just try it. I'm going to get my swiftest swipe. I keep saying every time I use it, it needs replacing. Uh, my little swifty swipe, I made it with the old spatula and stuck on soft plastic. Uh, soft plastic from a file divider so I'll just give this a go if it's a doozy I still want to show you really do because I just want to show you that yeah we have our bad days too and I'm having a really bad day in <laughs> that one because that is disaster 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 right. okay I'm just wiping the swifty swipe off in between each one just so I don't go and make what I've got going there even worse than what it could be not going to worry too much about the bits Ugh. might get the wonder wand Let's see how because I didn't put any I think I I put only silicon in a couple of these uh, tempura paints. I don't normally put silicon in. No, I didn't actually put si silicon in the post paints. I only put it in the white and the brown because it was acrylic. Nothing much happening. So there you go. Just show you that silicon does make a difference. But I'm going to leave that there because I'll have a, attack it with the balloon in a second. I'll go for this one now doing the swipe. See what we get again. Um, cover it with the white. Plenty, plenty. A little bit harder to squeeze you squeeze out when you've got them in these containers but I have made this these are oh, quite thick yeah that sounds thick <laughs> just hoping that I can kind of rescue rescue it oh it's the gold the gold's really really lovely in this um, poster paint too really lovely okay so I'll stick a bit of purple purpley one in there so it's completely going off tether to what I started with but 
you know, go with the flow. Just keep working it, working it, working it, baby. All right, all righty, here we go. Try again. Swifty swipe to the rescue. Let's do it. Do it, do it, do it. Nice and slow, draw it towards you. Oh, okay. Wiping my swifty swipe off. I'm getting a bit messy here now. Okay. Uh -uh. Let's just move that there slightly. You can see that the the Wonder Wand has done nothing really because well there's no silicon in there. Like I said, there is a bit in the white and the brown, one drop, but not doing anything so that's no silicon in there so silicon does make a difference and um, this particular ones um, these particular ones oh, have the Helmar silicon well that's all I use I love it so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna see if I can uh, I can make some magic happen with the balloon maybe I'm just gonna grab a claw to wipe my balloon as I go. Come on, let some magic happen for the people. It's a wing and a prayer. Okay, come on, Mr. Balloon, do your thing. Nope. Okay, that's not working. What is going on? Balloon saves everything. Maybe I'll try it the other way with my, okay, nope, it's not playing nicely at all, all right, go with my little fella, my little one, my little one that I've just got a bit of water in, that's all, no particular reason, it just adds a bit of weight, Well, this is a disaster, but I'm still going to show you guys, I'm going to show you because I want you to see, because look, I see what people mean when they say they're doing the balloon thing and it's just not coming the same as mine, but there you go, it's probably all to do with the consistency of the paint or if you're working with I don't know, I've done balloon um, kisses on, on poster paints heaps of times and it's turned out beautifully, so I don't know what is the go today, but it's just not playing nicely today. But there you go, give it a go. I'm just going to do it now till the end and overdo it probably. I just want to, I have no idea why it's not played so nicely today. Maybe the colours I've put together, maybe the, because we've got it really, really damp here today. I had this really humid uh, rain and then sun and it's just like a sauna. So it could all be to do with that. But this is not my proudest moment, but I really need to show you because I know so many of you tell me that you have days like this and your balloon kisses are not turning out like my balloon kisses but there you go i'm having one of those days too so it's um obviously to do with maybe i, I made up the paints a couple of days ago and they've been in those bottles and that's the Oh, I think I've put them in bottles before but maybe I'll put acrylic paint not the poster paint but it kind of looks like mm, strawberry and cream sandwich maybe strawberry and cream don't know don't like it made a mess but I'm going to show you guys because I need to show you that we don't all have good days. The artists that you see on the channels that you see, they're pumping out beautiful videos every day. 
certainly don't have every single day if they're honest as a good day you have bad days so kind of looks like yeah strawberries and cream I don't know you tell me tell me what your analysis of my problem <laughs> because I have done this all before with those all the same paints mixed the same way same colors um, when I do the chevron patterns for whatever reason I've got that <laughs> which is not at all attractive but I'm gonna sh I'm gonna yeah I'm gonna show you guys so thanks for joining me for this disaster it did not turn into a master but there you go um, crazy things happen okay until next time I'm gonna leave it for today because it's not my day in the art room I'm obviously whatever wrong wrong kind of weather wrong kind of mind frame and just just relax about it just leave it just walk away have a laugh about it because i'm sure you guys will so thanks for joining me until next time bye for now